Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And this tutorial will gonna be a little different than my usual ones. In this tutorial, we'll be using blending option a lot. And for this tutorial, I'm, I'll be using uh, these textures from texturelabs.org. And thank you Texture Lab for providing such a great uh, textures for us. One final note, if you guys are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please 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 do subscribe my channel i know 80 percent of you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet please 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 do subscribe my channel and with that note let's dive into the video and first thing first let's create an artboard so for that go to file click on new and i'll just go with 4x5 color mode to rg color mode to rgb resolution to 300 and just keep the rest as default and let's click on create and right after that let's drag and drop this image right over here Control t let's make it a little smaller let's add some rotation and let's keep it like that and to get this effect uh, it is most important that the image should be black and white image so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and then let's do some color adjustments so for that let's uh, increase clarity let's increase textures let's drop down highlights let's increase shadows let's drop down the saturation and vibrance to minus 100 and go to detail tab let's increase color noise reduction and noise reduction and let's click and let's click on ok and let's add a solid black background just like so and then let's go to filter let's add a oil paint just like that and let's keep the stylization to 10 cleanness to 10 and let's turn that lightning off and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on ok and then let's go to filter and let's go to filter gallery and let's add a cutout so let's go to artistic tab and from here let's choose a cutout and let's change the level to 4 it's simplicity yep let's keep it like 5 is fertility let's keep it as 3 and let's click on ok so this is what we got and then so my main goal is to uh, add 4 different textures on this 4 different sets so we have pure white uh, lighter grey dark grey and black and so for that uh, mm, let's add a gradient map and before that let's turn that visibility off and i would like to show you something let's go to blending option and i'm going to use this blending option later to blend the textures so let's drop that cut toggle down so we can see there are like four different uh, colors one is gray red green and blue so uh, my goal is to get these four different colors on my image so let's uh, click it cancel and let's add a gradient map let's go over here and let's change the shadow to pure black so here and then the first one was red so let's change it to pure red 255 and let's change it to 33 let's add another color and that was pure green zero let's click it ok and then the last one was pure blue zero zero two five five and let's change it to 67 all right now let's click on ok so but over here i'm mm, getting more than four colors so let's use a posterize for that so go over here and add a posterize and then let's change the color to four so from here you can see there is red there is black there is green and there's a, just a little part of blue over the nodes so let's add a curve or maybe let's add a level and let's see if we can get more blues over there
Yep. Yep, let's keep it like that. Now let's uh, uh, drag our first texture. So let's go over here, drag it right over here, and let's keep it all the way to the top. And for the very first uh, texture, uh, I want these textures to reveal on these black parts. So turn that visibility on, go to FX, go to blending option. And from here, let's go to gray. And I want these to visible only in black parts, just like that. So you can see this texture is visible this texture is visible only in black part so control t let's do some adjustment let's make it a little smaller and let's see let's keep it maybe right over here and again we can tweak it anytime later and let's import another texture uh let's see let's go for let's go for this one or yep let, let's go for this one and let's drag it right over here so I want this textures to be on red part. So select this whole layer, turn that visibility on, go to FX, go to blending option. And let's go to red and I want this to be in red. So let's go over here. So here we go. So we have these textures on red part. So control T, let's add some, let's do some adjustment. Yep, let's keep it just like so. And let's get another texture. So this one, and let's keep it right over here. And uh, I'm thinking to re reveal this texture on green part. So select this one, turn that visibility on, go over here, go to blending option. And let's go for a green color and let's go all the way towards the green so here we go control T let's make it a little smaller again yep let's keep it like that and we have one more texture remaining for that blue so let's get that texture Uh, I guess I guess this is the one so let's drag and drop right over here and again I want this on blue part so select this one go to blue and let's clip it like that and control T let's do some adjustments and let's see let's see let's keep it like that and again and then let's drag and drop another texture so this one and let's keep it all the way to the top let's change the blending mode to soft light Control t let's keep it in the center and let's add another texture let's see this one let's keep it all the way to the top let's change it to screen again or maybe soft light and let's drop down the opacity just like that control T let's make it a little smaller yep and let's do a final color touch up so go over here you know what this red I guess it's too much so let's go over here add a hue and saturation let's click on clip to layer let's drop down the saturation just like that and let's add a final uh, color let's merge this layer Control shift alt and e let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's go to basic tab let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture let's increase the vibrance let's keep it like that and let's add a final text So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. 
And again, if you want to get this uh, PSD file, it's available on my Patreon. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe my channel. And finally, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.